the real birthplace of Kaiser Adolf Hitler the Hohenzollern. An image of Kaiser Wilhelm I, Crown Prince Friedrich IV, Prince Wilhelm II, and Prince Edmund, taken in 1887. Kaiser Adolf I Hitler the Hohenzollern's grandfather, Kaiser Wilhelm Hohenzollern I, died on the 9th of March, 1888. His firstborn eligible son became Kaiser Friedrich IV Hohenzollern IV the same day. The official funeral was held later in March in Germany. Kaiser Wilhelm I's only other child, Prince Alois, and his wife Princess Clara decided to take a break from imperial family life in Germany and go to my imperial family's favorite long-term foreign holiday destination since the 1790s. What is now Gippsland, Victoria, Australia? They took their only registered child, Prince Edmund, born in 1886, with them on the trip. Prince Alois Hitler the Hohenzollern and his immediate family arrived in Gippsland later in 1888. Princess Clara became pregnant with twins at some point after they left Germany. Late in the pregnancy Princess Clara was unwell and the family was aware something was wrong. Prince Alois rented a small two-floor doctor's practice with a basic ground floor and full hospital suite upstairs in the attic room for his wife to give birth in. Himself and his son Prince Edmund stayed nearby at all times. On the 20th of April, 1889 Prince Adolf Hitler the Hohenzollern was born in the doctor's residence attic in what is now Moe. His birth was followed by the birth of a deceased-born twin who died quite some time before the end of the pregnancy. Prince Adolf was unwell for quite some time after his birth. All four living family members were together in the doctor's residence ground floor after the birth, as soon as Princess Clara and Prince Adolf were well enough. Prince Adolf's deceased-born twin was respectfully buried in Gippsland. As soon as Princess Clara and new Prince Adolf were well enough to travel, they all returned to Germany. The building Prince Adolf was born in still exists in Moe, Gippsland. An image of it taken by myself, the 3rd of June, 2021. After the name Australia became official, Federation in 1901, Austerik in Europe changed its name to Austria. Because of the similarity in spelling, people started pretending he was born in Austria instead of Gippsland. It was later also part of a campaign to remove all references to Kaiser Adolf I's family being the monarchy of Germany, including in reference to Kaiser Wilhelm II, his predecessor and cousin. That campaign began after Kaiser Adolf I's abduction in December 1943, where he was made a prisoner of war illegally in Yugoslavia, until his escape in 1959. As a specific example, all references to my imperial family being the monarchy of Germany were removed from the original text of his book Mein Kampf, before a fictionalized version was reprinted in bulk, and an attempt made to destroy all original copies whilst he was a prisoner of war. Some behave as if the campaign to replace the original text with a rewritten fictional one is continuous on an ongoing basis. When Prince Alois, Princess Clara, Prince Edmund, and new Prince Adolf arrived back in Germany, they discovered that Kaiser Friedrich IV had abdicated to his only child, who had become Kaiser Wilhelm II. It was for personal, health and security reasons, after a reign of 99 days. It meant if former Kaiser Prince Friedrich IV had any more children, they would not be eligible to be princes or princesses. There was also no need for people to debate the organized crime supplied idea that maybe the best option was to murder Wilhelm II, a homosexual dwarf, imprison his father Friedrich IV, a homosexual short-statured person or midget, force him to marry, then have two children in two years with the same female as a condition of his release, as if it was a viable option to keep the dual monarchy going. Talk of that being a viable option to retain a dual monarchy had caused security to be intensely tight for eight years, after Kaiser Wilhelm II was diagnosed as infertile at 21 in 1880. New Kaiser Wilhelm II authorized new Prince Adolf Hitler the Hohenzollern into my imperial family, 
and his father became Crown Prince Alois Hitler the Hohenzollern, first in line heir to his nephew the Kaiser, for the monarchy of Germany only. Former Kaiser Prince Frederick IV then spent a lot of time around his new nephew Prince Adolf, before retiring to Gippsland for the rest of his life in 1890. He died in June 1916 in Gippsland, aged 84, and was buried in Moe Memorial Cemetery, with the view from his grave looking north matching his empty imperial family sarcophagus in Germany. Former Kaiser Adolf I Hitler the Hohenzollern died on his birthday anniversary, the 20th of April, 1982, aged 93. He was later buried next to his uncle in Moe Memorial Cemetery, which he had prearranged himself years in advance. Prince Imperial Sir Brian Webb the Hohenzollern, until next time. My great-grandfather Kaiser Adolf Hitler the Hohenzollern was in prison, jail, for a total of around 17 years in his lifetime, 1923-24 and 1943-59, without ever being convicted of a criminal offence. On both occasions he was jailed, it was without prior charges being laid, without any investigation underway into any possible criminal offences, and to remove him from German public life so a putsch, or violent militia coup, could be attempted against my imperial family, and the German government. He was never charged with any war crime, atrocity, or other wartime illegal offence before his death on the 20th of April, 1982. They could have charged him and trialled him any time after he escaped prisoner of war jail in Yugoslavia in 1959, if he was suspected of a heinous crime and there was evidence. He was not charged and trialled because he simply was not involved in any of those crimes. His Imperial Highness Prince Imperial Sir Brian Webb the Hohenzollern